Before we go on a healing journey with the Xi, I would like to briefly introduce this journey. I met the Xi in the Sedona area in 2015. And together with them, I wrote a book called Birth of a New Consciousness. At that time, a small group of this community was willing to work with humans, but they also kept their distance. They had difficulties with our low vibrations, primarily because of our fears and worries, frustrations, anger. They felt that these lower vibrations posed a threat to them. But nonetheless, they were willing to allow at least some people to visit one of their community centers to see how they could apply their healing methods to help us. And they only allowed me to use this one facility that I will show right now. Later, I learned that this place was one of the centers that the Xi used to maintain their connection with their essence. And they do that by connecting with the star systems from which they originated to the degree that they can still remember. Over time, I was allowed to bring a few people to this place. And of course, it was as far as possible because it was quite an effort to climb up to this place, so many people could not reach it. A lot has changed over time between the Xi and us. They are now far more willing and able to support us. They are the ones who came up with the idea to make a video of what I call the Xi healing journey. This journey consists of three portals guided to connect deeper with yourself, transform as much as possible and prepare you for the actual healing. So we go through these three portals to prepare and then we'll reach the point that you see in this picture. For many of you, this journey will be more effective because you do not have to do all the physical efforts. You will be more open for the energies and can process more. You can do this journey in one go. Or you can choose to do the different steps separately. You also can repeat some of these steps on the different portals, especially when you feel that you have a certain connection or that they can help you to change or transform certain aspects. Play with it, but always follow the guidance of your heart. This was the introduction and we will start now the journey. So we are sitting at the first place that the Xi have designated as a place of preparation. In the introduction I mentioned that there will be three uh, places like this before we go to the actual healing place. As the Xi puts it, healing means becoming whole and that's the reason why they selected this particular place as the first one because this is a portal. And this is a portal to Arcturus and specifically to the master level. The Xi have only a contact with the master level. So it's actually master teacher's level and for them teaching is being who you are and radiating it out in every action, in every word, in everything that you do. So if you talk about becoming whole, you want to start with a place like this because it prepares you to become whole uh, and connect with your essence in such a way that you can be yourself, that your teaching is that way. And that is their purpose and that's why they wanted us to start here. They will guide through me a meditation 
and we will stay in the meditations as long as they decide. So you have to trust that when you are listening to this later, that you will, independent of the time that you may have in your mind, always will be prepared long enough for the whole journey. And that is what they want. They want you to know that, that you should not worry about, oh, maybe I need more or I need less. Trust that the time that we are sitting is exactly what you need to prepare and get out of the whole journey the most optimal. So in all those three places before we go to the healing place we will do a guided meditation. So prepare yourself to follow it and let yourself be guided by my voice. <coughs> the most important thing is to relax. Because only when you are relaxing your mind comes down and there's a requirement for reconnecting to your heart and be guided by it. For the she, being guided by your heart is the essence of every journey. For them, if you are not doing through the heart, then they consider the journey as not supportive. So feel yourself relaxing and from this place of relaxation connect with your heart. It doesn't matter whether you feel it or not, trust that as soon as you bring your awareness to your heart, you are connected with your heart. Your heart that receives all the messages from your spiritual essence. That spiritual essence that makes, that makes you a master teacher. So connect. Or set the intent at least that you connect with your spiritual essence through your heart. And realize that this essence is your light. We are all beings of light. And the more we are connected with our essence, the more our physical system is radiating out light. And feel, or at least trust, that this light is now increasingly shining out because you made your connection with your heart. And connected with that is unconditional love. And those two aspects are so important. Always connect from your heart with the light and unconditional love. And feel to the best of your ability that you love yourself unconditionally exactly as you are right now. That is your basis from where you begin this journey. Acceptance and loving yourself, knowing that everything you then do is improving. As this journey can help you to expand, improve, and becoming more of who you really are. Becoming the master teacher. And feel the presence. And if you don't feel it, trust that there is the presence of the she. Their consciousness and ours are totally intertwined. They are right now here. <coughs> so even the fact that you look at this image means you are connecting with them. know that they will do their best within the free will system to guide you, to guide you through the most optimal journey possible. And feel that they always come from this place of unconditional love and support you from there. And know that we all do this because we are here to support Mother Earth on her journey. And that is always an integrated part of everything we do. Every expansion is an expansion to support Mother Earth even more on her journey and as a consequence us on our journey. So trust that you have made all the connections that you need to make, that you're in the most optimal state so I invite you now to open yourself
for the energies of this particular portal. And we said the antenna we activate it in such a way that the energy is optimal for everyone ever listening to this. And set the second intent that you take out of it those energies that are for you optimal during this moment that you do the journey. Now let's sit in those energies and trust that whatever is happening is exactly the most optimal that can happen for you. Be aware that there is, from subtle energy's perspective, no time and no space. Which means that the she can connect with you whenever you are doing this journey. By doing this journey you give them permission to follow you in such a way that by the time that you reach the center, that they know what is optimal for you to support you optimally. Trust the journey because it's set from your heart. And take again a deep breath. Bring your awareness back and open your eyes again. So we are here now on the second portal. The second place that is designated by the Xi as a good place to prepare for their healing work. Uh, it's one 
you can say one level higher we climbed out of the basis of the canyon and uh, it is a portal to Aldebaran which is part of the constellation Taurus the reason that I chose this one is because the key word according to them is being consistent what they mean is be consistent in your connection with your heart it's only through that that you can increasingly connect with your essence and go to that mastership that we talked about in the previous uh, portal for them it's all interconnected you cannot be whole if you do not make those steps and there are many more steps that you could make but for this particular journey this is what they indicated as what they within the context of what's possible are showing as a number of steps that can truly help you as a preparation so there is not more much more to say about it we are going to connect with it as the second step of your preparation for this healing journey with the she and again know that they are there and use the opportunity of your connection to see how they can as optimal as possible support you once we are in their healing center so let's continue the preparation on this second place and always start with relaxing <clears throat> you're still quite relaxed due to the previous meditation but still in your awareness always say that you are through your breathing relaxing to allow a deeper connection with your heart we are still in a training phase every time that we do this we can go deeper so feel yourself connecting deeper with your heart and while you connect deeper with your heart your light will expand inevitably and so does the unconditional love that is connected with your light still the challenge is there of allowing it of believing that you deserve unconditional love exactly as you are right now know that your mind has tricks and doesn't want to believe that you're worth it so be clear in your intent and the more you believe it the more your system opens and the more you can become whole and be supported on the path to wholeness and feel the presence of the she maybe you can feel it a little bit more and still if you don't feel it trust they are there they are there from this place of love because that is from that place is how they invited us on this journey realizing that the she and humans need to work together and this is one way of showing their intent so feel that love And maybe you can feel it begins to fill you more and more and if you don't feel just trust always trust and make your connection with mother earth we always do everything in alignment with her journey that's why we incarnated so always connect with her and from your heart to her essence to her heart make sure that you are always doing things that are in alignment to the best of your ability so feel that she is always present with whomever you connect with whatever you do and if you realize that you may want to do only those things that makes her happy that supports her and everything that lives on her 
your healing journey is to do exactly that. Increasing your ability to help her. Expand for yourself and help her to expand. And now bring your awareness to this location, this portal, the portal to Aldebaran in the Taurus constellation that will help you to make sure that you will always have that intent to the best of your ability and consistently open yourself for your essence. We activate this portal in such a way that it will create a field that's optimal for everyone who participate in whatever time on this journey and open yourself for those energies of this field that we just created that are for you optimal to prepare you for this journey in the optimal way and then again go into the trust that whatever is now unfolding is exactly what needs to unfold to make this journey optimal for you And be aware that we can only create such optimal fields <coughs> when she and humans are working together. <coughs> we both have different consciousness ranges, <coughs> different vibrational ranges. And by working together, we have this very wide range where we can take out that what is exactly optimal for us. That is the power of doing this journey together with that. Take again a deep breath, bring your awareness back and open your eyes again. So we have reached the third place, the third portal for preparation. The she believe that those three are enough and they have specifically selected those three. So this one I even don't know how to pronounce the name, but it is Deneb al Gadi or al Jadi, And it is a star system in the constellation of Capricorn. And the key word is willpower. Uh, we can easily think that's 
the willpower of the third chakra, I have to push myself through. No, it is the willpower that is surrendering to your heart. That requires a specific kind of willpower. So surrendering to your heart, as you have heard, is actually through all the three preparation portals. Without surrendering to your heart, without um, doing that with willpower, with dedication, you will not go to mastership, which is means actually that you are connecting with your essence that you then bring out into this world. That is the journey that the she are standing for and that is how they support us and that is also the support you get while you do this particular journey with the she. So with this introduction we are now ready to make the third connection to prepare and again remember that the she will follow you in order to give you the best support once we are on top at the healing center which is the next stop we will go to as you can see from the background we have already climbed a bit more but there's still a little ways to go so prepare yourself now for the third preparation meditation And again, start with that deeper inhalations and exhalations to relax. That's the first step of connecting again with your heart. Because you are doing them rather quick after each other, you will still be in your heart space. But every time you have the opportunity to expand, and use that. We are on a journey, not only on this journey, but in an overall journey of connecting deeper with your essence. And that is why expanding every time you do this is important. That is the dedication from the previous place and the willpower of this place to truly do that. To not give up on the journey, but to continue and to continue to ultimately connect with your essence in its fullness. Feel the light and the love expanding in you. And feel that comes with that is an increasing joy. It is joyful to connect deeper and deeper with your essence to become more whole feel the presence of the she maybe you can make deeper and deeper connections with them that you can use in your life as support because they are willing to collaborate they know that we need to collaborate and they are willing to offer their support and realize that you will support them on their journey so they understand also this reality where we live in because it's all part of Mother Earth and therefore connect with Mother Earth because we all work for her and every time that it's deeper because ultimately we are all functioning within her system she is guiding us through her consciousness construct that we call the morphogenetic field. Bring now your awareness to the place where we are sitting. And when we activate the energies of the portal, know that you are also sitting in the energy of the energies of the portal. Strengthening your willpower to truly continue with your journey and never to give up. And now you feel that you are in this field. We said now the intents, two intents. The first one is we activated 
to the most optimal stage for all that go on this journey whenever they do it secondly we take out of those energies that only those that are optimal for us on the journey in this moment next time you do the journey you will pick up different energies because you grow and expand and now sit in these energies to allow it to unfold until the she again gives a sign we are complete With this we have completed the preparation journey. As the she just said, you can do any of the three meditations separately if that is something that resonates with you. If you feel that you want to work on your mastership or in any other way because being dedicated to your journey you can use all three or one of the three or two any time that you choose and of course you can do the whole journey as often as you choose to do it being prepared now we are now going up for the last climb and then we will be at the healing center that they are now preparing We have reached the Shi healing place. This is the place. I mentioned in the introduction already that it's quite amazing that they were willing to allow this place, which is one of their centers, to be also used for humans, especially in the light of the fact that in the beginning they kept tremendous distance from us. And every time I come here, I feel this gratitude for their willingness. I'm not going to describe things in detail because that's not what this journey is about. But imagine that this is the center. That's why we put uh, also the skulls and a bottle to make an essence of this. Um, and it is much larger dome structure that through their intent is continuously moving to create a vibrational system within the dome 
for optimal healing while they also create domes around the people and realize in a sense you are here from their perspective and their consciousness you are here they create a smaller dome around you or at least a dome like structure that continuously moves uh, depending on the energies that are set into motion uh, their healing is totally different from what we do and the way we do it but I have seen over time it's very efficient. It's up to you how much you choose to open yourself. Realize that after they determine the duration, and again, trust that the duration is perfect for what needs to happen. Once they say, this is it, I call you back. But take some time after that to process. Don't start running around immediately because it will prevent the integration to be optimal and but it's all up to you of course and depending on your situation but realize that integration after having been in this energy has definitely importance. And now we are going to complete the healing journey by receiving the healing from this Xi community and through your willingness to open even more than you have already done during the first three steps. I will guide the very first part and then I leave it up to the Xi. So go as always to your breath to relax as deeply as you can. knowing that it's the basic first step for connecting deeper with your essence through your heart. You have prepared yourself through becoming more open for connection with your essence so that you can become a master teacher. You have connected with your dedication to go on this journey through your heart and you have felt the willpower that is totally in service of your heart to create the most optimal situation for you and as a consequence for your contribution to Mother Earth. That is what the she and we have in common. So from your place of love connect with the she. You feel the gratitude for the fact that they are willing to do this. And feel your connection with Mother Earth, always, always. And set the intent that from your heart you open for those energies that are optimal for you. And trust that she know how to create a field that, pre that gives you that opportunity to take in what is optimal for you. And let's sit now and receive in open with an open heart and deep gratitude.
that you have received what is optimal for you in this moment know that now comes the process of integration that may take days minutes hours but it is always good to take some extra time to allow at least the start of the integration to happen Feel gratitude for the gifts you received. They did it with love. Take again a deep breath. Bring your awareness back to the place you're sitting and open your eyes again.